these Trump supporters uh, 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 suggested in a piece that ironically was featured in Free Speech Org. Uh, how do you deprogram 75 million Trump supporters? I'm going to bring in the man voted into Congress by the same folks the media calls racist, former NFL football star, small business owner, and now Congressman-elect Burgess Owens. Uh, first of all, congratulations, Burgess. Uh, you know, I've been reading so many articles uh, uh, that uh, essentially that are saying, let's go to war with Trump voters. So, uh, you know, I ask you, you know, how, how are Trump voters going to respond to now this open this thing that's no longer a, a hidden secret, not that it ever really was? Well, first of all, Charles, so good, good talk with you again. And, um, and, and this is where the, the, the left falls short. They have no idea who the American people are. There's a famous saying that the Admiral, uh, that, uh, that attacked the Japanese Admiral, attacked the World Par uh, World Harbor, uh, Pearl Harbor. He said, I, later, uh, I, I fear we waken a sleeping giant. And, and what, what the left doesn't understand is the last year that they've attacked our system, uh, our, our faith, our business, ability to go to, to business, to, to have education. It's American people waking up. That's, it doesn't matter what side of the aisle we're on. We love freedom. We are collectively, we, we drift toward the light. So now what's going to happen is they'll, they'll now see uh, what happens when Americans, again, realize who our true enemy is. And it's not, right. it's not those good Americans out there trying to make things happen. It's the, the, le the leftists, the radical leftists, that want to take away our, our, our freedoms. You know, on that note, it reminds me of what Richard Pryor said. He said, you know, what made the Japanese think they can bomb Pearl Harbor? He said they all went to UCLA and they came back and said, we bomb them, they quit. He said they should have gone to the University of Alabama. They would have never done it in the first place. <laughs> but that was so well said. <laughs> to, to, to that point, to that point, uh, Americans uh, intrinsically, it's in our DNA to fight for freedom. We just do it. We, we might be in different parties, but that's where we come together. And the left does not get it because they... The first is a godless ideology. They don't realize that our, 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 our country is based on that God, on God fearing God people. And uh, and I tell you, they don't they don't get it, but they will be. And mm -hmm. the, the, the coming years, they'll realize that right. it's a big mistake to, to, bet, against, to bet against the American people. So uh, you're, you're heading to D.C. and you're going to be part of this thing called the Freedom Force, uh, essentially to counter the AOC-led squad. Uh, where are these battles going to take place over what uh, over what themes and ideologies? Well, first of all, it started by uh, two, two remarkable leaders, uh, Nicole out of New York and Maria out of, out of, uh, of Miami. Uh, they're putting together this, this, uh, this, this group of folks, and we're supporting them any way we can as a, as a freshman team. They'll figure out exactly what the, compo the composition will be looking like and what the focus will be. But I can say this, it will be to give a narrative, a contrast to the, the hard left. We, again, we drift toward the light, and our message is one of, of, of optimism, of, of, of uh a great future for our, our kids in an and, and our American way. The other side is just the opposite. So we will win that fight because Americans, again, will see that there's a true contrast. And I look forward to the leadership coming out of this remarkable freshman team. These guys are, I'm just so proud to be part of this this this, this group, to be honest with you. You know, I'm lucky to have uh, met uh, all of you, and it's really remarkable. I tip my hat to all of you. I'd be, I got 30 seconds, Burgess, but... Um, you also talk a lot about small businesses with these lockdowns that are going up around the country, are going on around the country. What a quick thought on that. Be careful. This is what got the black community. 40% of black business owners when I grew up, 50 to 60% equated to middle class. That's turned into 3.8%, which is where you see the, the disaster. They're after our middle class. They're after business owners. Realize Democrats and independents, you're not safe either. These guys hate our American way and freedom and opportunity comes from those going out there taking a risk. So let's fight for fight against it and know what they're they're coming coming up we're, we're up against at this point. Thank you very much, Congressman Elect Owens. Appreciate it.